I have covered my first impressions on the Mighty Ducks Anaheim Ducks name. I have told you about the arena, the home arena of our team. The Hanna Center and its history and the facts and the events that it has held over the past 28 years. I've also told you about my first impressions of the Mighty Ducks Anaheim Ducks logo, name, and the colors, and, and how my first impressions and how it was so fashionable that it won an inaugural SB Awards back in 1997. This video, I am going to tell you about an important coach that paved the way for successful head coaches in the Mighty Ducks Anaheim Ducks. This coach is someone that was given a chance, was given a shot at um, coaching his first ever NHL team. But also, I will give you an, an insight into this man. That man is Ron Wilson. Ron Wilson was born in Windsor, Ontario, Canada, and immigrated to the United States. Played college hockey there and was drafted in uh, by Toronto in the 1975 NHL draft at the 132nd overall of that year. From 1977 to 1988, he has played in the NHL, the AHL, the National League A, playing in three countries altogether, winning two Swiss uh, League championships and captain the Team USA selects in the 1988 Spengler Cup um, tournament, a prestigious European uh, invitational tournament in Switzerland. Wilson was a right-handed defenseman. He was your journeyman defenseman and he, for a, pl a player who honed his craft in Toronto and at Minnesota North Stars and played in the minors with the Moncton Hawks and went overseas and playing with H.C. Dalfos. He was not what I call like your flashy player, but he was someone that was a wor had a working man's attitude towards the sport of hockey and by 1989 after calling it a career uh, the year prior he began transitioning from being a right-handed defenseman to a hockey coach started his hockey uh, coaching career with H.C. Davos in uh, 1988 89 spending a year there honing his craft, honing his skills, honing uh, like the information and how to act as a coach, how to use technology, which would later come um, in many of his coaching uh, stints in Washington, in San Jose, and in Toronto. By 1990, 1991, he... Uh, got his first opportunity to be an assistant coach in the NHL with Vancouver, spending at least three years as the assistant coach there. And again, who knows? No one was expecting him to get a head coaching position. Some were expecting him to get a head coaching position in Vancouver, Toronto, Montreal, you name it. It was all until, say, the month of June which would become very um, pinnacle to his, to his career. Pinnacle because it was when our Mighty Ducks gave a man his, like Ron Wilson, his big break. Now, the Mighty Ducks back in 1993 uh, was beginning its stage one of its process of being created, being newly formed, with the unveiling of their name officially, their logo, their colors of the home and road jerseys, uh, unveiling them 
officially and unveiling the uh, the name of their new then new home, Anaheim Arena, which the Arrowhead Pond back then. So by the month of June, it, it was very important, and the first one of the first steps our Mighty Ducks took was on June 30th, 1993. Uh, they hired a assistant coach, then assistant coach, then 37-year-old Ron Wilson from Vancouver to be the first ever Mighty Ducks head coach. And no one gave him a shot. No one gave him a shot like they didn't never gave our team a shot because they were known as the team with a funny name. And I could remember um, overhearing what other people would say about Ron Wilson. Oh, he's going to, you know, throw away his career for uh, a Disney, Disney novelty or um, he's going to be a laughing stock of, of his, uh, of the NHL, just like his team, da da da, da all, et cetera, all that, all that stuff. Wilson set the path, set the tone for how this team was going to maybe be, be, be ready to fight each game, each night. And from the four years that he was there, the first four years of our Mighty Ducks, he was able to <clears throat> rack up at least in the first year, 33, 46, and 5 in the 93, 94 with 71 points, 16, 27, and 5, 30, 37 points, 35, 39, and 8, 78 points. 36, 33, and 13, 85 points, which was the Ducks' first ever um, Stanley Cup playoff berth. Those four years was something. It, it tells you, and it tells me personally, of our team back then, the Mighty Ducks, did their research, did their homework on Wilson. I mean, Wilson was able to guide our Ducks to a fourth place finish in the Pacific Division in 93-94, ninth place in NHL West. In the second year, the Ducks finished sixth place in the Pacific Division, 12th in the NHL West. In the third year of uh, Wilson's tenure, the Ducks finished fourth place in the Pacific Division and tied for eighth in the NHL West. And his final year with our Ducks, the Ducks made it to the Stanley Cup playoffs for the first time in team history, finishing second in the Pacific Division and fourth in the NHL West. All together, he was able to turn an expansion team that was supposedly destined to be a bottom dweller in the first four years and made it to a fighting force as it was during the first four years, even though Nobody gave him a chance. No one gave our team a chance. All together in total, under Wilson's leadership, the Ducks had a total of 120 wins, 145 losses, 31 ties, with a total of 271 points. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It tells you something again that the Ducks did their homework and made the right choice. Unfortunately, and disappointingly, I remembered it well back then. And our Ducks, for some, other, for some unknown reason, but right now, as I'll tell you, the Ducks let Ron Walton go. They fired him for creative differences or whatever excuse they had back then. It took me by surprise, and I know it took all Ducks fans by surprise in Orange County, California. Now, many of you think, what would he do back then? Of course, he went on to coach the Washington Capitals and the San Jose Sharks, uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Over the past 18 seasons, he had 
develop uh, strategies and coaching styles, such as integrating technology, like introducing like computer tablets. And I can go on, but I'm not going to bore you guys out. As much as during the four years that he has been with the Ducks and being let go by that team, he went on to continue a very successful coaching career. Now, internationally, he was able to ensure teams that he coached did very well, uh, finish well, finish strong. In 1996, during his third year with our Ducks, he was um, named head coach of Team USA in the 1996 World Cup of Hockey, where he won and guided that team to their first World Cup of Hockey championship of that tournament. It was also the inaugural tournament at that time. Hoisting a trophy like the World Cup of Hockey trophy was, you can say it was like another hallmark, another uh, accolade to his coaching career. He... Um, by 2010, he guided the uh, Team USA to the 2010 Olympic Hockey Gold Medal Final, where they went toe-to-toe, -to -toe, man to man with Team Canada, losing in a very tough 3-2 uh, OT loss to, of course, Canada, my home country, earning him and his team a silver medal in 2010. By 2016, he uh, guided to the Team USA and the World Junior Hockey Championships in Helsinki, uh, earning them a bronze medal. About 20 years prior, he guided the uh, IIHF World's uh, Team USA men's hockey team to a bronze medal in 1996. So. His path in his coaching has been very much very uh, unique. Now, his accomplishments, including that of our Ducks, was not went unnoticed. It was noticed by Team USA. And by 2017, he was inducted in the class of 2017 in the USA Hockey Hall of Fame. I speak all this because of him, because he was our first Ducks head coach. He was an assistant coach. And his path to being a head coach in the NHL was something to appreciate, to understand, to admire, and also to look back fondly. I always believe that guys like him, uh, Ron Wilson or was made a very short impact and he would have he would have been I think someone that would say if our the ownership at that time Disney and and him didn't have that creative differences and didn't part ways or was you know the Mighty Ducks didn't give him the boot maybe the, the Ducks would have built off that playoff uh run that short playoff run in 96 97 it would have been a lot longer but who knows what fate it would have had his best results with our ducks was on the final year was in 1996 97 was it in in the 1997 stanley cup playoffs they won their first playoff series victory under his uh coaching 4-3 series win over phoenix they did all they could against a, a strong Detroit Red Wings team. And losing 4 nothing was, was tough, but back then I thought maybe this team could, could like go even further. <sighs> Boy, <laughs> I think everyone, including myself, was the most wrong after being blindsided by the Ducks letting him go. I mean, he was a tremendous asset. He was someone that was very innovative, very, uh, very philosophical, but also someone that uh, 
was a diamond in the rough, and which is why the Ducks uh, named him, hired him to be the Mighty Ducks, Anaheim Ducks' first ever head coach. Now, what would his legacy be? Yes, he will be remembered as the first ever Mighty Ducks head coach, but he was someone that tells you something about the team back then. They gave someone, they gave a guy who was a journeyman like hockey player, a no man hockey player back then, a chance to be something, to be a head coach, to get his taste to be a head coach. And it worked out well. It worked out well with the stops in Washington and um, San Jose and Toronto, as I mentioned, like a few minutes ago. It, his tenure was short, but it is what it is. So, I mean, his accolades, his accomplishments in international hockey is something to appreciate and respect. It, it tells you about who he is. I mean, he, I mean, to be a head coach, to be a, a hockey head coach, and you have to use here. And Warren Wilson, for the past four years with um, our Mighty Ducks, uh, stops with Washington and Toronto and San Jose. He always uses here. And any technology that has in his mind. I remember his candid interviews, his honesty, and his... He he's always comes out to me as someone who loves the sport. And if one way or another, if I have a chance to meet him, I hope to get his autograph and meet the guy. Because, as like I said again, he was the Ducks' first ever head coach. He made his mark. He guided our Ducks to the first four years of out of the four was being in com competition, uh, fighting for a playoff spot, even though that we were the butt of jokes back then. He did well. He did his duty. And it showed. It showed when the USA Hockey Hall of Fame inducted him in 2017. And uh, it truly shows you what a simple team, our team back then, can give someone a chance, such as Ron Wilson. And, I mean, looking back now, it, it really, you know, I mean, looking back, his path towards a journeyman hockey player in 1977 to 1988 and you know being in playing professional hockey and it really says a lot and I always say and I was looking back and looking at some old clips I really do believe in my heart he was one of the Mighty Ducks Anaheim Ducks best coaches in the 28 year history of our team uh, something that uh we should not forget something that we should not uh, uh, throw away because if it wasn't for him, if it wasn't for uh, the decisions by the, the front office back then, things would have been turned out differently. Who knows? Who knows what would be the fate of our ducks back then? and the path towards a successful expansion team fighting for respect t till now. It comes down to basically what, uh, what we can do, what we remember, how we remember him. He's still around. I mean, yeah, he's still around. Enjoying retirement. I mean, but I always, always have a deep appreciation and deep understanding that for many of us, for all Ducks fans, for all who have followed this team, and I'm talking to most of you guys out there. Yeah, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you guys, you know, most of you Ducks fans have followed this team since day one. 
it's always important to remember the goods, the bads. I mean, Ron Wilson, hey, he was there. He was there when things were bad and were very ugly. And, he, and the four years he was with our team, he was able to field a team that was ready to fight, ready to do their duty, uh, prove the naysayers wrong and the sports pundit wrong, and it, and it showed. And it showed each night, each night, each game, no matter if you win, you lose. He made this team very hard to play against. And the first year when, during the inaugural year, it showed. I mean, it showed. I mean, they're able to, to turn uh, an expansion draft roster from of third to fourth liners, two backup goalies, okay, and make them into a fighting force that proves everyone wrong is something to behold. And that, and that to me, and that to all of you is my first impressions of Ron Wilson. I hope you uh, like this channel. Well, not this channel. Well, like this channel. Like the videos I do. And please subscribe. You know, it's um, one, of the, one of the things I like to do, love to do, is to share with you my passion for the Mighty Ducks and I'm Ducks. And also my thoughts. So, what more can I say? And that is my first impressions.